Okay, dictionary dictionary are unordered collection of key value pair. In this, here we can. This one is also unordered. Okay. okay, collection of key value pair. Here we can give also key, and in key we can give any value. Key mm -hmm. is always be unique, but value can be same. The key name is always be unique, but if you want to do you, value is be same. Dictionary are closed and enclosed in within the curly bracket. Key value can be uh, written as a key. Key and value can be any type, either it is integer, float, string, list, tuple, anything. Okay. So here we can make, I can make this one. I can make any dictionary here. Ditto. And make any key. Suppose I can make a key who one. Okay. And I can give any value, which value we want. I write here the value is class. Okay, I make one another key. One key for guru. And in this key, I can give a value. I can write absent. Just like another key, if we want to create, then I can also create class five. Okay, so it is discretionary. We we can create one key and we can give any value in this. Mm. Now if I can print print D2 then it can be print. This is one key and this one is value. If I want to know about the length of this key and value we can write here length and length. and it's good. We have three pair of key. Okay, bro. Okay. And I want to check the type, right? Okay, so this is dictionary. Now we do the type conversion. It means if you want to change from a string to integer, integer to a string, float, bool, list, double, from any to any. So we can do in the type conversion. Just like if there is A is equal to, I can write any string. Okay. And then I can give system. Not not a string, not a string. Same thing so I can write I can write any float value. 55.8, 55.2, and then I want to change to convert into the integer. I can try it easily. Integer A, and then I can print. So 
so it gives the value in a integer okay can, so can you convert a integer to float yes float to integer yes yes float to this is float to integer uh, can you convert integer to float yes i can do a is equal to 67 okay this is float to integer now we are convert integer to float oh. 64 mm -hmm. then i can write here float a and write print b so it gives the answer in the float so is it possible to any type to any type to any type no no it not the because a string is not convert into the float or integer okay any doubt in this uh, things? No okay. Next one is user input. Okay. If we want to give anything and uh, input is run, that time we can use this suppose all the time we can write here print these things then it can be print but now now what we want we can give any input at the it will be print so i can give create one variable and i can write input by default it take in a string okay and I can write here print A and also write a type. When it give, it give option if we want to write anything. I can write the class and enter. And it will be print and the class is a string. So by default, it take a string. Want to take something different from this all things, then you can try to input, write enter your name. Okay. And then print in. So it write to enter your name so you can try to more that is me print statement and basically if we can create any value and if we want to print then i can do this just like uh, is equal to write anything is equal to 32 c is equal to 33 and i can write print a b c that it basically Okay. We have many things. This one is used for separate for new line. Okay. Backslash and is used for the new line. If we want to print anything in a new line, then we can use this one. Just like I can make one statement.
a is equal to python is equal to class c is equal to okay. and i want to print okay a comma b comma c if we want to separate all the things then we can write separate okay and we can give this one if i didn't give any space then it can write without any space okay if we want to separate with space then it can give okay spaces okay hmm. no what we want we want anything print in new line i can yes. okay suppose firstly, i can create one more but yes yes suppose if we did uh, did not put comma in between the variable will it print means uh, one more time and i can write here anything 38 and we want new line 30 will print in new line then we can simply give and is equal to black backslash n means new line okay and then write print only d then d is give in the new line okay can you it uh, firstly it print okay, all you... yes yes it can you create... now if we want to write something between this value okay so okay. what we do go in the separator and write anything between the solo i can write it or then it write 54 or 66 66 or 77 or 88 or 5 okay and if we want to also add suppose i can write here only a print a b c and on the place of new line write anything or another thing so i can write and is equal to new that is oh sorry sorry print t and e on the place of new line it write new line 88 and python okay bro okay if you want okay. to print in new line then simply give backslash n try it in new line can we give new line in a separator okay we have many method of the print mm -hmm. okay format of print just like here we have a comma format of the print if i can write if i can give any value then okay and then i if i can write to print the value of a okay and write nothing 
go outside comma and write a it can write the value of a is if you are want to write here each also can. the value of a each pair okay and the plus method of the print if we want to add anything if i can give here a is equal to 10 then c is equal to 20 and if i write to print a plus b so simply it can be add if i can write here any string also it also be add c is equal to guru add c if I can make a variable this could be okay and then I can try to print F single inverted comma the value of a and then I can write this one is curly in curly bracket okay and then I can write and the uh, Python of B is it also in curly bracket and then I can so, what is the use of F? This is a function. Okay. So print function, this one is used for the integer, float and string. If here we can give any variable and write anything, then it can. Let's do this program. If we have any, we do, we do this now. Okay. So if I can write, a is equal to 15 <clears throat> B is equal to write any float or anything also we can write the integer and write anything this one now i can print print the number of a is so firstly take we have to write the integer okay when we give the integer it take integer value don't write here the float means this one because our value is integer then we can try it percentage with d and b is And the C is what is a string. So we can write S. Okay. And then we can give the function. Write A, B, and then C. Firstly, it go here the number of a is and then it takes from the here if i can write here b okay here i can write a and here i can write b so what first take the number of a is 52 okay firstly 
print the function, then it go and take the value from here. Okay, bro. And we didn't give the in the place of integer. We did uh, didn't give the string. When you write a string, it give simply error. Okay. Hello. Ah yes, bro. It 